Good morning. Uh, we're going to dive straight into Luke 3 today. Um, I'm going to read uh, from verse 1 through to verse 14. So follow with me. Here we go. Uh, in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod, Tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, Tetrarch of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, Tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the desert. He went into the, all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked road shall become straight, the rough ways smooth, and all mankind will see God's salvation. John said to the crowds coming out to be baptized by him, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit, it, fruit in keeping with repentance and do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father, for I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. What should we do then? The crowd asked. John answered, the man with two tunics should share with him who has none and the one who has food should do the same. Tax collectors also came to be baptized. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Don't collect any more than you are required to, he told them. Then some soldiers asked him, and what should we do? He replied, don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. A really uh, fascinating insight into John the Baptist, who, of course, we uh, read about in uh, chapter one of Luke. Um, and we've kind of jumped about uh, nearly 20 years into the future since uh, what was read yesterday with Jesus in the temple. But I, would, I just want to pick out on one uh, verse uh, in that passage, and that's in verse nine, uh, where it says, The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. Ultimately, it matters what we do. As representations of Jesus, if we choose to follow him, it matters what we do. It matters how we treat people. It matters how honest we are. It matters what we do with our finances. It matters what we do with everything. And I want to encourage you with that today. Um, let's make sure that we're bearing good fruit, that what we do affects others in good, positive ways. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.